Well, I am hoping that that rain is turning into snow because whenever I was getting ready, it was pouring and my dog was terrified. So hopefully she won't be scared if it's snowing. It won't be as loud. It was it was a bit of a mix about an hour ago. I stepped outside. We had that heavy rain, but some snowflakes were mixing in. Now it's all transitioned to some light to moderate snow. That's continuing to sweep through the mountains as we speak, but it's going to clear the area here over the next hour or so, and we're going to catch a bit of a break. But uh -oh. <laughs> some more rain showers possible later on this afternoon that could transition to some snowflakes into tonight. And that could lead to very light accumulations as we wake up early Wednesday morning. So just tell me this, Chris, when's it going to finally end? I hope it stops well, soon. <laughs> how long ago was it Groundhog Day? Was that a week ago? It was Who wants to join me? Almost because two weeks. We, we okay, so we've got four we are, weeks. We're going to skin the groundhog, okay? <laughs> we're going after that guy because he's talking about early spring. I'm not buying it. Let's get you over to live pinpoint Doppler this morning as we scan the skies. I am fairly upset with him, and I got a bone to pick with that guy. I can tell you that right now. Live pinpoint Doppler as we scan the skies for you here, tracking some of this snow showers beginning to move towards the north and east. This is all going to push off, eventually clearing the area. So that is the good news, but it's going to take next hour or so to do so. And in some areas, seeing some of those darker blues indicating some of the more moderate snowfall could drop maybe a quick dusting of snow here across far southeastern Kentucky. Areas to our north and west, some, some folks have picked up anywhere from one upwards to three inches of snowfall over the past few hours. Now we do have that flood watch. It goes until this morning. Flood warning, that's the lighter green color here, including London, Jackson here in Hazard over in Harlan. That's the lighter green showing up. That's that flood warning. It will continue until early this afternoon. I had lots of heavy rainfall through the overnight hours and into early this morning. I woke up a couple times during the middle of the night. I could hear the rainfall just hitting the house. It was coming down at a pretty good clip. And also we have a winter weather advisory. This goes until seven o'clock this morning for portions of central and eastern Kentucky. Some of these areas from Monticello towards Somerset over to London heading towards the north and east along the I-64 corridor picked up some accumulating snowfall from where that heavy rainfall transitioned into some heavy snowfall. And like I was saying, some areas picked up one upwards to three inches of snow. Temperatures across the board mainly around the freezing mark. A little bit warmer to the south and east. Temperatures in Harlan and Middlesbrough in the mid-30s. Travel forecast shapes up like this for you, especially those areas that picked up on some of the accumulating snowfall. Temperatures around the freezing mark. Got that mix, some of the snow early. That's going to lead to some roadway issues. And then temperatures eventually top out around 39 degrees a day. We'll catch a bit of a break, but another disturbance is going to swing in. That's going to bring some more rain chances, possibly a few snowflakes back into the forecast area as we head into this evening and tonight. So here's the latest satellite and radar imagery as we loop over the past six hours. What a system this was. I mean, we went from a accumulating snowfall to heavy rain flooding issues back to some snowfall, and it's finally wrapping up, and it's going to work off towards the north and east heading into the New England region. But notice back towards the west here, seeing some of this green show up across Missouri and Iowa. That's pushing towards the south and east, and that's going to be our next chance for some rain showers, possibly a few snowflakes as we head into this evening and tonight. So here's a look at feature view as we kick it off at 9 o'clock this morning. Notice we'll see that activity clear out of the eastern Kentucky area later this morning. Catch a bit of a break. Clouds stick around. Temperatures going to be chilly out there with readings in the upper 30s. But notice showers begin to increase from the west approaching the I-75 corridor by around 4 o'clock this afternoon. That will slide towards the south and east. But as it does so, temperatures will begin to cool off a little bit. Notice how we transition from some rain even to some snow showers as we head into around 9 o'clock tonight. That will continue into early Wednesday morning. We'll clear things out, but we're looking at the possibility for some light accumulations as we head into late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Not expecting anything major, so that is the good news, but looking at the snow forecast, a, a solid dusting will be possible, especially across southern and southeastern parts of the Commonwealth. So something to keep in mind as we wake up early Thursday morning could provide for a few slick spots out there. Otherwise, we are finally going to dry things out. Yes, and we're clearing out sunshine. Hello, good to see you. Going to be glad to have you back 47 for a high Thursday, and I'm going to give you guys a nice little treat here. Lower 60s into Saturday. First part of the weekend. Mitchell is jumping for joy right now. Overnight lows dropping into the mid 40s, but unfortunately some more rain chances back into the forecast as we head into early next week. Let's get a check of the refrigerator art this morning. See what we have behind the magnets. So love showcasing all the wonderful artwork from the kids here across eastern Kentucky. Nice photo sent in from Taylor over at Hyman Elementary. Time now is 514. You're watching Mountain News this morning right here on WYMT.